everyone welcome back happy hump day last week was a hot mess express but before I get into that my name is positive Trisha if you don't know like comment subscribe on this video if you haven't already now let's get into it like I said last week was a hot mess we had a farm dinner a farm to table dinner for 140 people with my class of 18 we also had some help from the bakers and the wine and beverage class and they made cocktails and stuff for it but overall we did the dinner and it was a massive 10 course menu with five or six hors d'oeuvres four desserts menu d's and then also a takeaway bag so i alongside somebody else sarah was in charge of the takeaway bag now this is the takeaway bag you see this little thingy it has all the things inside of it there was a chocolate bar there was tea don't even think I'm on tea there was tea and then there was a kugamon so oh and a lavender water so the hors d'oeuvres start off there there were one two three four five six seven eight nine hors d'oeuvres that's just the beginning of it and then this was kind of the brochure telling the story of farmers through the eyes of a bee in the hands of a chef so that's what it looks like we sold out maybe two weeks before the dinner so the whole entire idea about the dinner was understanding where your food comes from that's basically what the whole entire program was about and so we dedicated the whole entire program yeah so we dedicated the proceeds to a company called the planet b foundation and they came in and actually gave us some honey i had some today bomb 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 and they actually teach kids about what bees do and how bees basically you know make all the food for us if you've never seen the bee movie if you can remember at the end of the movie that it was like oh why do we have these honey bees are bees are making honey for bees bees are making honey for people so they shut down all of it and then the bees were lazy they had nothing to do the flowers were dying the trees were dying and they're like wait a second we don't have anything unless we have bees so that's the whole purpose of us saying let's save the bees and we got a cool little hat this bee on it and the back says farm to table 2018 all of us wore the hats at the end of it and it was a really cool dinner, but may I just stop talking about it and show you some pictures of my classmates and what was actually happening. So here that footage is now. How do you live for this one? Hey, hey. I'm my own boss, we cannot talk without my money. Don't really want to hear it if it ain't about the money. Since a young god, I always wondered about that money. Quick to pick a pack of pit up, pack it full of honey. Since the king was crowned, all that gold was what I wanted. Something about yeah. me shining with my crew, not shining with cars. Yeah. Yeah. Crew full yeah. of big bosses, Boss. culinary artists. Art. I love to feed my family, gotta win, not taking losses. Nah. Big Brody. Yeah. They ain't gonna like it. They ain't gonna like it. I be getting to the money. Everybody made. I think I'm getting too much money. Everybody made. from any other farm to table dinner is sure yeah you have 
you have food directly from the farm to the table. What made this difference that you got to sit down with the producers. So everybody that we visited over the past 12 weeks, they actually donated lots of produce such as Driscoll's, Don Watson, and Ocean Mist. They donated so many different things and a lot of small farmers, like the Buckeye chickens that we received. And it was a whole pig actually. It was crazy that these people took the time out of their day to just donate something for kids to use and to do whatever pretty much whatever they want to and then also we got caviar caviar is expensive the tin was probably about this big and there were two tins they were supposed to be really tiny and they did that and that's thousands and thousands of dollars and it just handed to us and gave away to us now the farm dinner was very interesting it was stressful there was lots of tears but also i just didn't it's not something I like. Now, I'm going to show you guys a recipe of the Kukaman, Queen Aman, that I did. And it's a laminated dough and it takes a long time. So before I tell you what bothered my brain about it, I'm going to show you guys how to actually do it. So here that footage is. Cardi a body in a robbery. Diamonds all over my body. Shining all over my body. Cardi got your bitch on Molly. Two ain't gang, you lame. Belly truck laying the lane. Throw out the brain. I go insane, insane. I drop a check on the chain. Pick up a check in the brain. that doing that for 140 people as in each individual person gets one of those and in order to do that um, you have to do folds and you have to roll it out to 24 by 12 or 24 by 8 depending on what exactly you need it for and there's a butter block that's involved you have to roll it roll it roll it out then you have to do a minimum of three folds but I did four folds I did two four folds and two three folds and that has to sit in the fridge for 30 minutes so there's like a little bit of a waiting time with it and I definitely practice it out throughout the week. Every single day was like a 13 plus hour day. And I remember my mom calling me on Saturday the day of the dinner and she's like, why aren't you into my phone calls? And I'm like, mom, I'm in class. She's like, okay, but you'll be out later to call me, right? And I'm like, no, I have a 16 hour day today. And she was like, she said the emotion. She was like, hmm, how does that work? Yeah. So I was there from 9 a.m. until... 1 a.m. that same day and it was absolutely crazy sure it was a rush and I love it but I realized that a long time ago but doing mass production and doing the same thing over and over and over again it sucks the life out of me my body hurt everything hurt it came to a point where like I wasn't super excited about making a dinner it wasn't something of oh yes tonight's a night I'm so excited it's just not fun for me. I like to make things personal for each and everybody. So when I'm doing something 140 times and I'm counting over and over again to make sure I have enough, it just sucks the life out of me. Like I said, it doesn't make it personable. It doesn't make it make me want to do it anymore. I feel like I have to do it. That's why when I graduate, I want to work at a restaurant. So it's a smaller scale. I have a variety of things I'm doing versus doing the same thing every single day so yeah but it was really cool I'm proud of everyone on my team proud of the entire class actually there were so many things 
that we had to do just for that day it was pretty much a month preparation the whole entire semester was a preparation for it and it all made sense at the end we did a little toast you know and we said our thank yous but the week is not even over this is my last full week in california hallelujah i cannot wait so next time you see my face or next time you get some footage i will be leaving california i'm so excited to leave california when i was 10 i wanted to come here so bad but now that i'm actually here i'm like deuces chucking up the deuces because i want to leave and i will explain that to you guys in the next video so you have to stay tuned and keep watching for my 12 week experience in california and if i recommend it or not that is all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching my name is positive patricia like comment subscribe share this video if you went to the dinner please let me know how it was let me know how my clean mind was i thought it was banging banging, banging but that's also just me peace love and positive